Hello my friends, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm Sherry and I'm here today to um, have a little fun with this little booklet I made out of a Rook game instruction booklet. <laughs> so I had already made a little journal out of the box and so this was the instruction booklet and you know I thought this little cover was so cute. So I uh, just took the pages that were from the booklet and like this was the cover so I lined the back of it for you know a little bit of strength and the same with the back this was the back of it I think it was like this you know on the back but I turned it around and put some put the pa same paper on the back here that I put in the front and you know to strengthen that as a back cover and then in between I put little scrapbook papers um, I think it was all little scrapbook papers that I had that I wanted to kind of use up and, you know, so I just made a little kind of junk journal out of it. And it is, uh, as you can see, bound with some metal coils. Uh, so um, this, I wanted to see, like it looked a little plain and I thought, well, you know, it has the rook or the, like a crow on the front. So I thought, well, what? Tim Holtz has crows or whatever um, in his ephemera, so I thought, oh, this would be could be really fun to just add some Tim Holtz ephemera to this. So I thought I would do that, just have a little fun doing that today. And we'll just see how it comes out. Let me grab my glue, because I already pulled out this little guy here. I thought he would look cute right down here. And this was a very, um, you know, this was a vintage work game that I had use so this is you know quite you know a little bit grungy but I think that's really cool looking just you know you got a little bit of vintage patina on there so <laughs> but we're gonna put him right down here because we've got a bird there so we'll have a bird down here in the corner and then uh, we will see what else we're just gonna go through I have this little bug I wouldn't mind putting him somewhere in here a little insect little beetle from the Tim Holtz goodies here I think we need some color here though so Let's see about adding a little bit of something here and there. This looks cute right there. That little color right there in the middle. It almost looks like it belongs there. Even though it doesn't, it says for external use only. <laughs> so uh, if any, I see anything uh, that looks interesting, I'm just going to go with it and not like try to overthink it or anything. And not try to throw it on the ground. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> there we go. It was on my table. But... Um, there we go. That is super cute. So now we have a little red there. I think we need something up in here. So let's look through. I have my, uh, let me see if it, what you can see here. Let me move this over a little bit and I'll move my goodies down in here so you can see me going through it and pick out something with a little color on it and something that will fit. So it has to be something small. Oops. <laughs> I have a vitamin C sitting here. I was just eating. My husband started me on these vitamin C gummies. They're really good. <laughs> They're like, whenever I feel like a little piece of candy, I go and get a vitamin, one of those gummy vitamins from uh, the jar we have. And uh, <laughs> it's like, it's vitamin, it's vitamin C, but it's also quite like candy. <laughs> so here's some little bats. These would be cute. I would like something with color though, but let me see how those might look up there. I mean, this could be, end up being Halloween-y. And I, what, I mean, with this bird on the front, uh, from the original instructions, it does look kind of, you know, like it could be the perfect little Halloween <laughs> notebook or whatever. So anyway, let's see if we can find something with color. A little something. Here is, what is this? A piece of trash. <laughs> uh, here's a three. I'm just going to place some little pieces up here. Now this doesn't have any color or that could be something, but I want something with color. Here's a little ticket, but that's a little bit too big. Oh, a butterfly could be cute. I don't know. I kind of like the bats though. Um, I wonder, let me see what it looks like without the bats and then just the butterfly. I don't know. I don't, I don't think the butterfly goes though. The bats kind of go though, don't they? So a couple of bats there, something with color there. So this I made myself, a little October 31st piece here. So I threw that in there because this is all Halloween stuff in here. 
So we're just going to look through here and find something with color. These are little book covers that is a Tim Holtz. Uh, this is too big or this could look cute somewhere. I don't want to cover him up, of course. I know there's some little pieces in here, so we'll just look quickly through and see. I could put a little, what is this here? This doesn't have any color. There's something like that would look cute up there. Let me see. It doesn't, it, it has color even though it's just brown and black, but it's not, you know, white or whatever. So the bats could be, if I wanted the bats on here still, but this could go up here. I kind of don't want to cover up that border, so above the border. It's a little long, but I could cut it off. And the bats could still go on here. Uh, let's see which way they go. Oh, the, they go this way. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that would really go with the bats, though. I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would want both of those on there. So I still would like something with more color, though. So let's keep looking. Hopefully there's something in here. I just figured there would be, so I didn't really... <laughs> I just, oh, here we go. A little poison label. Oh, here's a purple ticket, but that's going to be too big. It's going to be too big unless we wanted to use it as a tab somewhere. I'm going to leave it over here. Uh, yeah, this would be cute. Poison. And then the bats, or put the poison over here and the bats over there. Poison and then the bats, maybe. Something like that. I don't have to have two bats on there. Or, let's see what it looks like up here. It looks like I don't really want to cover up that border. But if I have to, I have to. Uh, it actually looks good really right there. Here's another poison right here. There's the two bats. Let's see what these two say. That's a black poison. I like the red one better though. Here's another one. This one's different because it has a skull and crossbones right there. I think I like the solid red one better. And then let's see about something like that. And then maybe a little bat like that. That's pretty cute. Uh, this is not colorful. I think I'm just going to go with that. And then we'll put a few things on the inside. Say, so here's something that I thought could be good, but we could use that on the inside too. Mm, that looks really good. I like that. 31. There, I like that. I really like that better than the bat even. We can use the bats on the inside. That is, I don't know. I was really, that's striking me as really cool. <laughs> so we're going to go with that. Okay. The border is still coming out on either side of this, so it looks nice. It's like looks like it's supposed to be there almost. If you know what I mean. Poison. <laughs> so it's going to end up like a little Halloween notebook, I guess. Even though um, I didn't really attend it, and it doesn't, I didn't like put Halloween colors in here or anything. But if we decorate it with a few Halloween pieces, it'll be a little Halloweeny. So. Yeah, this could be, uh, this will be my happy Halloween video, I think. It will be a little, a little fun to do this on Halloween. Uh, my last for this year. Here's another little bat. Here's another little bat. I'm going to use on the inside that butterfly. Okay, so that's going to be the front. That's a lot better, don't you think? It was so plain before, and now we have some color. We have some more interest with the little bits that we added. That is really cute. I really like it. So let's see if we can add a few things to the inside here. And uh, this notebook, um, I would put it in my shop, but uh, if you look at the coils here, they're not as like they're not perfect when I put them together. Uh, you know what I mean? Like when I squish them so that they go together. That's how you do the coils. They kind of are a little flat right here, and they're supposed to be round. So uh, this is going to be a little thank you gift in, in my next one or two, uh, you know, in the next order that I get in my eBay shop. If it's appropriate for me to put this in there as a thank you, then that will be what, what I will do. It will be a thank you gift 
in my next uh, eBay order. So that that's that will be that. So <laughs> if you need, if you were thinking about ordering something from my eBay eBay shop, uh, let me know, or just order it and and uh, you know I will put this in your order as a little thank you gift. Oh, here's a clock. That could be cute somewhere. And a little 31, another 31. I don't know if I would put another one in here. Okay, now I don't want to put anything on every page or anything, but I just want to go through and like, you know, I really like to decorate. Um, I like to decorate book pages. Like I could leave the scrapbook pages and just go through and decorate a couple. And then whoever gets this can do what they want decorate. They can put paper on here and make these into writing spots, you know, all that kind of fun stuff. But uh, let's just put something, since this is the first page, let's put something here. Uh, maybe the little butterfly or the bats. The little, let me see the big, this is a, this is still a small bat, but these are even smaller right here. So let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks nice there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's put him there. He fits really nice. So even just something a little subtle like that. Oh, I put way too much glue on there. I might have some of that off of there. And we'll put him up here on this first page. There we go. Cute. <laughs> yes, bats can be cute. Did you know? <laughs> um, like I said, I don't want to put something, you know, I don't want to commit to put something on every page. That would be for whoever gets this journal. There's a lot of uh, text pages in the back here. I don't think I meant, I don't know if I meant to put all those together or not, but I did. So, anyway, uh, let's, let's see. Uh, where can we put this bug? I really kind of want to let me use this bug somewhere. He's cute there, but let's go, um, let me put a little bookmark here. Let me put one of the pieces of ephemera there. That's where we left off. And go to the back because I don't want to put like all the ephemera in the front and have nothing, you know, or decoration in the front and have nothing in the back. So that's this is the back cover. And here's the next page from the back. So we could just put him right here, <laughs> crawling in from the outside. Okay, so it's, a, it's like a good sized beetle here, but he's a pretty beetle, he's got pretty colors on him. I don't like live ones, but the little ones like this that are not real are fine. <laughs> so, there we go. Get all his little legs glued down. Okay, and then... So, uh, the order will have to be after this video. So, any video the same day as this any order in my ebay shop that is the same day or after this video the first one will get this if i you know if it's a junk journal person if it's not you know some i have some things in there that are just random and i you know they're not junk journal people but if it's a junk journal person that will be who will who will get this little notebook so um let's keep going here uh, I'm going to skip some pages because, like I said, I put a bunch of uh, the instruction booklet pages here in the back. Rook Solitaire. Hmm, I didn't know that that, was, that that was a thing, but I could see that. Okay, now we skipped a few pages, so let's look for something. What is this here? This is a giant bird. It's too big for this journal, so this little notebook, so we're not going to put that in there. There's a little sign here. That is really cool, but too big. Um, a lot of things that are too, well, a lot of things that, well, they're not really too big, are they? We can make a little pocket here. Let's see. Let's see what's, uh, let us see what we can do. Oh, this is really neat. This is papery, too, which is not usually in Tim Holtz things, but it's usually all cardstock, but that's neat. It's a papery ticket. Uh, let's look for a little something we can make into a pocket, maybe like even this tag or something like this could be the pocket and then we can put this behind it as a tag in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a flower. This would be fun. I like, a, you know, it's supposed to be like, uh, dead, almost like they don't have a lot of color to them. So almost like dead flowers or something. <laughs> that's, what, 
I think they're still pretty. Look at that. I like that. Okay, we're going to put that there. Oh, what is my... My uh, art glitter glue is trying to explode here. Okay, let's do that here. We'll still put a pocket in on one of the pages, too. All right, so this is going to go here. A little decoration. Make sure it's all down there. Okay, make sure that bug isn't uh, sticking, having the pages stick together. Nope, seems all right. Okay, now let's skip a couple pages. All right, let's put a butterfly here. Butterfly up here. Oh, let's put it on this side. I keep putting things over here, but I need to, I'm trying to remember to put it over there too now. I just told myself that as we were putting that uh, other flower down. I was like, I need to put something on the other side to myself. And now I'm saying it to you <laughs> to remind myself. But there we go. Got a butterfly on that page. Okay, let's skip a couple more pages. One, two, and now we're at this one. I like this clock. That could even be a tuck spot too. Should we do that? Yep. I said I wasn't going to hesitate, right? So let's just put some glue on the bottom and the side. Did I do that right? Bottom and side. Let me spread it out a little bit here. I don't want it to ooze out and then, you know, end up gluing my pages together. So there we go. And that'll be a little tuck spot for, we'll put a little ticket in, this little orange ticket in there. So a little piece of ephemera that whoever gets this in the end can use these pieces in whatever they want in here or wherever so that's a little ticket really cute little ticket too let me show you yeah that was in the tim holtz ephemera isn't it cute i love that i could use a whole roll of those <laughs> that's really i love the color of it okay we'll skip a couple pages again and let's see we're at a scrapbook paper double-sided and then I'm going to, like I said, I think I'm just going to decorate the text pages. Okay, so we put a bat in that first. I'm going to put a bat here. Didn't we put a bat back here? There's a bug. We put a bat somewhere, that big bat. Not big. Oh, we put that in the front. And we used a 31. Here's another ticket that's cardstock. Okay, let's... Um, I kind of would like to put this and this ticket in here. I would like to make a pocket. Let's see. Here, this is cute. That could be a little pocket. Let's see, will this fit in there? I think it will. Okay, so we could use that. This is like really big and it would cover. Well, it's too wide anyway. So that's not good. Um, I could use one of my October 31sts. Kind of big though, covers up half the page. So I think maybe I just would kind of like something a little bit wider than this. That's why I'm still looking. Let's see if there's anything a little bit wider than that here, not here. Oh, let's let's see what this is. Table of skeleton. That is. You know what? This is a blank page. What is this here? This is a piece of scrapbook paper that is blank on the back. Let's see how this fits here. Oh, it fits pretty good there. Yeah, I think I'll put it here, actually. You know how I said I need to put things on the other side? And my art glitter glue is kind of, I don't know why it never does this, but it's oozing out right now, so I'm going to I'm just wipe this off the cap <laughs> to not waste it. So now I can use it. Make sure this is the bottom. A little bit of glue on here so I don't take up my pocket space. A little bit more where I just swipe that on so there's enough there. And I think that's good. So I'm going to put this over here. And smush that glue down. Make sure it's all down. And make sure it's not gluing my pages together like it is trying to do. There's glue on that page. There's glue on this edge right here. Going a little bit out over the edge, which is why I was trying to make it not too long. Uh, let me see. It's a little crooked, too. Hold on. Let's see if I can... 
Oh, it's too late to move it. It's too late to move it. <laughs> okay, it'll be what it'll be what it is, but let me just cut off the edge here that's sticking over the page because it just doesn't look good. There we go. Okay, now I gotta get that off my scissors. Okay, so we're gonna put it this little uh, piece of ephemera. It's a cute tag. This says table of skeleton, is what it says. The skeleton contains 306, what does that say? 206 bones, is what it says. And then it has a little list there the head, the trunk, and the limbs. <laughs> Very interesting and educational. There you go. <laughs> okay, and there's a little tag in there. This was cute too. Ah, uh, very cute, like a florist tag. Yeah, this was in the Halloween. This is all Halloween. Tim Holtz Halloween. This was last year. I ordered this from, I don't know what year it was actually from, but I ordered it last year and got it last year. Okay, so we put a pocket there with a tag in it. So let's, here's another blank page. Okay, where's that clock? We didn't, do did we use the clock? We used a clock. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have another, oh, we have a 31 and a 13. Here's this one. I don't want to use, I already used the 31 on that first page though. Oh, this little ticket's really cute. Little label. That would be cute somewhere to write something on. Just put a little label here so we can write a date or a name or something. I like that. So we're just going to add a label to this page. And again, my glue is oozing again, so I'm just going to use that to put on here. So, I hope everyone has a great Halloween, if you celebrate Halloween. <laughs> uh, like I said, um, when I first, first of October, I said it's not like, you know, we don't celebrate Halloween like we used to. When, my kid, when the kids are little, you, you know, you do things differently, and so now I kind of celebrate um, by doing Halloween crafting and, you know, have a lot of fun with that. And, uh, my granddaughter dressed up and so I got, I'm going to see her tonight, but I've already seen her costume too. She already dressed up in it for something at church. So I got to see it at church, um, this past Sunday and <clears throat> all the little kids in her class, not all of them, but a lot of them wore their Halloween costumes to church. It was just, you know, fun a chance for them to wear their costume, you know. And I'll, she was um, she was bluey, if you know that cartoon at all. I'm looking for something to put on this page now. Something different than we've put on already. So anyway, yeah, she's, she's bluey. And um, she, it's a little girl bluey outfit though. Because, well, bluey is a girl. But on the TV show, on the cartoon, she, bluey is a dog. A dog, yeah. Dog, right? Yeah, dog. <laughs> a blue dog. She doesn't look like boy or girl, but she is a girl. But, um, oh, what is this? It looks like something I made. Oh, this is cute. Pumpkin potion. That's different. That must not be from this kit. This is from something else. This is from one of my scrapbook paper kits. But it's still, you know, pumpkin Halloween-y. Let's put it here somewhere. This is really cute. Kind of, hmm, it's hard. Where should I put it? I think it needs to go over here, though. I think it needs to go over here, or... I guess it could go over here as a tuck spot. I think I'll put it there as a tuck spot, actually. Yeah. So, anyway, um, and then for Halloween Day, uh, we just made plans to um, have my family come over. My boys... My, her, my youngest son's fiancé is off on Tuesday, and... And... Um, my other son's wife is off on Wednesday, so she can. they can all come over. So they're coming over here, and my granddaughter's going to trick-or-treat at my front door and at my younger son's front door. <laughs> so she's not really trick-or-treating. They took her to a little trick-or-treat event at uh, somewhere. Like, it wasn't a church. It was somewhere, though, that had a little trick-or-treat event for kids. So she already went there. She wore a costume there, I guess. And I want to tuck something in this tuck spot here. Something different. Oh, here's a cool Toxic. I like this one. I've used that a lot before. Let's look for some interesting piece of ephemera to put in here, though. So whoever gets this can have fun with that. 
uh, this little these little pieces are always fun like this the little uh, just little coupons or tickets or whatever that Tim Holtz puts in his his kit his ephemera I'm gonna put that in there and let me see how about a little curious uh, vocabulary card that's adorable right so yeah she went to that event and then I got to see her at church and so that was kind of like too Halloween -y. I mean just because she got to wear a costume twice and let me make sure these pages aren't getting glued together back here that we already put something on let's see let me put something here. oh that ticket's fine okay I was a little worried about the other one though oh this one's good okay we're good we're good okay but yeah so they're gonna come over here I'm gonna bring pizza home when I come on my way home from work uh, Halloween or Tuesday night it is Tuesday <laughs> my my daughter-in-law thought it was Monday and I'm like let me know about Tuesday because we were talking about you know whether we we're gonna go to our, my house or their house I'm like let me know about Tuesday and she's like oh I thought it was on Monday <laughs> She's like, oh, well, that's good because I'm off on the next day. Okay, so where were we? We just put, oh, I lost my spot now. Well, I said I didn't want to put something on every page, so I've got to, oh, here I am. Okay, so we did the tuck spot. So let's skip a few pages, and we'll look for a spot for the Toxic. Toxic. Yeah, so pizza and um, family this Halloween so that's how we're celebrating Halloween day and that's what we used to do when they were little kids but then they would go we they go trick-or-treating and then we have pizza when they got back when we got back and um, when we were when we lived close to my parents my parents would be there handing out candy while we went trick-or-treating and I'm gonna put this right here I think that'd be cute you know what it could be a little belly band it could be a little belly band I don't want to put it right in the middle though Maybe I'll put it up here and glue on either side and then put something down in the middle of it. So, um, yeah, so when we were little, we would we would do that. But now, now we're going to do, we're going to do what I just said. <laughs> we're going to come over here. And Riley's going to trick-or-treat at my door and my son's door. And we're going to have pizza. So that'll be fun. We don't get any trick-or-treaters because we live out in the country. So... <laughs> Uh, this is a little thing I can stick in here in the belly band goes right through so that'll be fun on that page this little notebook has a little bit of everything doesn't it okay so maybe one more page and we can be done well I did put quite a bit oh this is trying to get glued together here there we go we saved that well that's where I put my bookmark so that's where we left off so let's turn a couple pages over and make this the last page we decorate so what should we do here uh, look for something or maybe I'll just put a paper clip in here. Here's a neat thing poison <laughs> label uh, That and what else? Something different. Let's see. Oh, here's another flower. We already did that though. That's not different Let's see these are These are quite big, but like I said, I might paper clip a couple of things in here and then they can put them where they want Whoever ends up with it. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that because there's quite a few of these in here. These little flower pieces, like floral uh, pieces like this. This says druggist in this. So I'm going to paper clip that right here on this page. Let me grab a paper clip. I have them right behind me. I added, uh, I showed you in a Thrifty Thursday. Maybe you haven't seen it yet. It might be upcoming, but I got some new a new little package of paper clips at Dollar Tree and I had been you know I always look at them and I'm always like I wish I needed some paper clips and I was getting a little low I didn't really have to buy them yet but I was like oh I think I can go ahead and get <laughs> some because they're so pretty <laughs> so I know I'm silly so there we go um I think it's done but maybe it would be fun to put something on the back like you know how you see a book and there's something on the back besides paper like just some little thing in the middle here like looks like it belongs there like let's see what this is oh this is a little bit different fragile do not ha do not drop handle with care I like it there we go boom we're doing it <laughs> so anyway I hope you all have a good 
Halloween, whatever you're doing, even if, even if you're doing nothing and you're hiding from the kids and you have your light off and you're going to watch TV in the bedroom, <laughs> that's okay. I think we've done that too. Uh, it's when we had uh, a house where trick-or-treaters came and we were uh, done, we'd be like, okay, turn off the lights, let's go hide in the bedroom and watch TV. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, there you go. Super cute. And it's done. So that is what's happening with this little journal, little notebook. It's going to go to the next person that orders a, like probably a person that orders a junk journal or if you order, um, you know, a few things that have to do with junk journals, I would put it in that order too. But it's the first one because I only have one of them. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Happy, happy Halloween. I'll see you in my next video, which will be tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.